7 Benefits of High Intensity Interval Training While most people know that physical activity is healthy, it's estimated that about 30% of people worldwide don't get enough. One trusted source. Unless you have a physically demanding job, a dedicated fitness routine is likely your best bet for getting active. Unfortunately, many people feel that they don't have enough time to exercise if this sounds like you. Maybe it's time to try High Intensity Interval Training HIT. HIT is a broad term for workouts that involve short periods of intense exercise alternated with recovery periods. One of the biggest advantages of HIT is that you can get maximal health benefits in minimal time. This article explains what HIT is and examines seven of its top health benefits. What is high intensity interval training? HIT involves short bursts of intense exercise alternated with low intensity recovery periods. Interestingly, it is perhaps the most time efficient way to exercise typically, a HIT workout will range from 10 to 30 minutes in duration. Despite how short the workout is, it can produce health benefits similar to twice as much mod- your metabolism after exercise more so than jogging and weight training, 11 trusted source. In the same study, HIT was also found to shift the body's metabolism toward using fat for energy rather than carbs. Another study showed that just two minutes of HIT in the form of sprints increased metabolism over 24 hours as much as 30 minutes of running 3. It can help you lose fat studies have shown that HIT can help you lose fat. One review looked at 13 experiments and 424 overweight and obese adults. Interestingly, it found that both HIT and traditional moderate intensity exercise can reduce body fat and waist circumference additionally. One study found that people performing HIT three times per week for 20 minutes per session lost 4.4 pounds, or 2 kgs, of body fat in 12 weeks. Without any dietary changes perhaps more important was the 17% reduction in visceral fat or the disease-promoting fat surrounding your internal organs. Several other studies also indicate that body fat can be reduced with HIT, despite the relatively low time commitment however, like other forms of exercise, HIT may be most effective for fat loss in those who are overweight or obese for. You might gain muscle using HIT in addition to helping with fat loss, HIT could help increase muscle mass in certain individuals however, but the HIT group only exercised three times per week for 20 minutes per day. Some researchers have found that HIT may even reduce blood pressure more than the frequently recommended moderate intensity exercise however, it appears that high intensity exercise does not typically change blood pressure in normal weight individuals with normal blood pressure 7. Blood sugar can be reduced by HIT Blood sugar can be reduced by HIT programs lasting less than 12 weeks A summary of 50 different studies found that not only does HIT reduce blood sugar, 
but it also improves insulin resistance more than traditional continuous exercise based on this information. It is possible that high-intensity exercise is particularly beneficial for those at risk for type 2 diabetes. In fact, some experiments specifically in individuals with type 2 diabetes have demonstrated the effectiveness of HIT for improving blood sugar however, research in healthy individuals indicates that HIT may be able to improve insulin resistance even more than traditional continuous exercise how to get started with HIT there are many ways to add high intensity intervals to your exercise routine, so it isn't hard to get started. To begin, you just need to choose your activity, running, biking, jumping, etc. Then, you can experiment with different durations of exercise and recovery, or how long you are performing intense exercise and how long you are recovering. Here are a few simple examples of HIIT workouts. Using a stationary bike, pedal as hard and fast as possible for 30 seconds. Then, pedal at a slow, easy pace for 2 to 4 minutes. Repeat this pattern for 15 to 30 minutes. After jogging to warm up, sprint as fast as you can for 15 seconds. Then, walk or jog at a slow pace for 1 to 2 minutes. Repeat this pattern for 10 to 20 minutes. Perform squat jumps, video, as quickly as possible for 30 to 90 seconds. Then, stand or walk for 30 to 90 seconds. Repeat this pattern for 10 to 20 minutes. While these examples can get you started, you should modify your own routine based on your own preferences.